thank you very much for your questions. I think they are very, very important for this nation. Let's see the first one, which is the area of uh, uh, Guru Magazine. Uh, first of all, Guru Magazine is about the gurus in this nation, people who achieve us. Let's be that way. People who achieve, you see, see, who have made history in their own chosen fields. So it's about time we want to have role models in this nation. People that people can look up to. You know. So we are, we are very careful in choosing people, we don't just anybody. But more people who have made their, made a, who are experts in their own field. It's going to be very, very progressive. I'm talking, I'm talking about their uh, industries, politics, sports, entertainment, everything that they're covering. So we have, we have done that. We have, uh, I chose some very brilliant journalists to work with this organization, and they have they have done a lot, a lot of work on it already. To be to be published, published by the grace of God next month. Now, what's the question? The, 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 the second one. The next one is the promoter. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? Uh, well, I said, I've been doing, I've been show business all my life. So, since 1966, when they retired, Colin Collins called me the first Nigerian model. And I did a lot of stuff from John Locke at that time in the 60s before I left Nigeria. I'm a guitarist, I sing and I play. And I, then the last one I remember maybe is the Tom Tom Suite, yeah. which um, uh, uh, I did for Tom Tom and one or two other people. You know. And it's like, it's like the best thing is dead now. I also won the Paul Akashi Kubedi for the Tom Tom at that time. That was the first one before I left Nigeria for England to do my levels and all that stuff. So, um, when I was in America too, I mean, in, in England, I was I was always going to the club, dancing, and all that stuff, all that stuff. I've always been interested in show business. So when I came back, I mean, in those days, when I was in school, we used to promote, we used to do a lot of shows around, I had a band called Imperials. So, and then, then later on, I came back to, from, from America, I I, put to, I, 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 like, I like to introduce to Nigeria, the biggest show ever called the Sun Splash. Fella, Fella, I think Fella Go was there. We played in, I think Nigeria, other other countries too. So there they was also also there. People like uh, Majek, they came. At, I mean, they were not big enough for the big stars. Who were people like um, Bonnie Spear, the American guy, uh, Yellow Man, the Yellow Man, Hugh Roy, uh, Sly and Robbie, you know, and uh, Jimmy Watt, who was a listening guy for Bob Marley. We are even we were going to get um, Ziggy Mali here at that time. I was uh, I, I was my tight tightest, any tightest at that time. So um, I I bought a big show in Nigeria. I mean, it was a big show at Liberia, Zaire, and Lagos, also Benin City. So we were able to do a three day show at the Tava Balaba Square. It was a big show. People came from all over, you know, embassy uh, people, embassies, like uh, Matrasses. Uh, to, 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 to see it was an all star show. You know, I personally took Fela to Liberia because Fela, had, Fela was, a, was a good friend of mine. We had, we had the same birthday. He used to celebrate together when he was alive. We had the same philosophy in terms of you know, better of Nigeria. You know. So, I, but, um, what, we, that's, that, that, that was very expensive. Very expensive. I, said, I don't know to do it now because it's a great fortune. Because Maybe an honest of um, I, 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 I don't, dollars. That was we are paying at that is at the fellow yeah, we are paying by fifty thousand dollar per show. Now imagine what it is cost now. And the part of the Nigeria is that same guy. So we are we're supposed to go all over Africa, but because um, I mean there are so many other other issues to you know, um, like do for example in Nigeria. I said, it was the was the head of state. And he said, okay, after getting to Liberia, after being fellow, 50 people, fellow school to Liberia, and all the other people, all the hotel, hotel Africana was full of, of, of people. The man said, there's no more show. Because he was afraid that my partner was getting so popular in Liberia. It's a small place, and the guy was getting so popular, and maybe he was, he was afraid of me. So we had spent so many, about, we had two weeks in Liberia, spending hotel bills, like paying for the hotel the bills. You know, at that time. So my plan was to go all over Africa. Funny was that everybody was there. So we 
But that be, but I like the day where I have to come prison. It's okay, go ahead and do it after about two weeks. Spend so much money. Keep me like money in the hotels. So fella, fella, we have 50 people, fella, 50 people. Yeah, so at the end of the day, we were able to do a wonderful show. Uh, I did like, I did like in Moravia. It was, 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 was part food, the table was part. It was beautiful. In fact, I purposely said Fala should not pay, play early. I Fala should be the last one to play. So Fala was angry with me. He said, why, why now? I said, Sam, I'm sitting here waiting. I said, Fala, wait, the people are waiting for you. <laughs> so at the end of the day, he came out with like one. I remember he came out with one black eye. So I said, I said, I took it for him. So it was, it, was, it, was, it was fantastic. So when he was great, all of them it was one artist of them, all, all the staff. We had about 23 uh, people from America, but the Texas are from Sagis that came, you know, uh, to, 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 we had almost all four of the hotel and, 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 and the palace. I go there and the church here. All of books, which I paid for mostly. Because my friend, I said, I find my right to financial problem. You know. So I had to do a lot, a lot, a lot to rescue. So we, we, we went on to Billy City. Yeah. And, people were, and people from my uh, uh, number, they all came for East. They all of them were to I thought, well, it's enough, it's enough. Because so I spent so much money. So anyway, so, but to do it now, it's, it's not be easy. Unless we have some uh, uh, corporate bodies, you know. The backs up and to work with us because I also, I mean, I something that I like, I like music. I'm a guitarist, I have an album, you know. I still want to do it, but I know that it's it's it requires a fortune to do it today. But I, I'm very, very happy to see that my young people are doing so well, yeah. Because uh, the video, somebody I know the father very well. We are neighbors in the area, and I was there when he was born, yeah. And it's, I'm so happy to see the young man doing so well. Um, uh, uh, too many of them, they, they, they were savage, but my daughter's very good friend in England, in school. So I'm very proud of them. I believe that time has come, that you know, I know that, fellas, you should discuss that. These guys, are, they are going to be too much. But like Baba and the fellas said, ah, these young people, they are too much. And I'm so happy to see them, what they are doing to me. I'm very proud. So if uh, we get a, a good, uh, some public bodies and government, to work with us because I'm not definitely going to look for money and do it myself. If they would like to work, we can do it in another show. A big one that there will be you know, all star show like that. Like, 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 it can be done. If the government bodies and the government are working on, and we will we, we do a big time show. Mm -hmm. My father was a position. I saw back in the early 50s. I was a uh, member of parliament and all that, you know, most in Nigeria. So it's a something in me all my life. If I did not say to come to be senator, something nice to be a, a UPM, he said, his friend, to I said, no, you know, I was in US then, doing my, doing my master's. Anyway, so I finally got to it myself with the late, uh, even a strong man, called, a man called Ade Dubu. He was a very strong man of the politics. He was a man. Yeah, he was, he was fine. In fact, in Nigeria, everybody in Nigeria comes to his house. To get up out the other, to the position of the other. Yeah. Now, I have to be his landlord because all the land that belonged to me at that time was my father's land. And when the man died, I, and I became the chairman of the president. So I was not the landlord. His wife can combine me too. You know. So, so whatever I said, that they follow. Baba, Baba, I was, and the man was a very brilliant man. He, 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 people don't know him very much. It's he, he, not a talk. His man was just a, a brilliant person. He put so many governors, even president, we put them there. So, my good friend, which I met through my father, M.K. Abiola, and around 92 or something, early 80s, when I came from the US. Now, Papa, apparently he had a problem with the, 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 the U.S. at that time. M.K. Abiola um, was fighting the late chief of Awolo and all that stuff, you know, around the, I mean, the, 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 the 1980, whatever, something like that stuff. So, a lot of your boss were around with him. So he came to my father as somebody who could, who could talk to a woman and all of you, but was a quiet man, but, but they, they all believed in me. It was a quiet, it was behind the scenes. The younger brother was one of the running points, but the older brother, you know. So I tell you this, I, I, I always started doing policies with him, I did the group, you know. 
Tell the people that I tell the people in the barrel again before and now Abela came. After Abela sitting down on the corner of the corner piece and then people say, I, I, I just I, my friend he like you know that people want to be MK 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 that. So he said he came to run for uh, to, to do policies, to run for president. I said, well that's very nice. Got myself out ambition at that time. To run for the president at that time. But because MK was there and he was a man who, who, who loves the people. He was a man who was a humanitarian. I said, this man, I worked with him. So together, we started politics with Adi Dibu. So we were able to, you know, to go all over the place, raise money for him, everything. So the day, um, unfortunately, um, when uh, election was annulled, I was not happy because I remember vividly uh, when MK was out there, I was the one in charge of the, 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 the one who brought all the scotsmen from Bala to protect him. So I was the one in charge to go to every night and make sure it's okay. You know? But the personal thing, all of us called to me and he would go. And uh, I better lawyer, so if I give Bala, he's in the uh, Bala for Bala, Bala now or something like that. So we were, we worked together. Too. And I uh, did before of us, the people were running Nigeria at that time. That's why I came up with this book. This, this book to tell people exactly what really happened at that time. So MK Abella was a man. Uh, um, I remember him vividly sitting there like me, me and standing in front of him, and his lawyer and the late Kudi Abella said, Look, people are suffering in this nation. Like, look, 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 uh, he remembers vividly when he was a young boy, how he used to suffer. There's no, there's no food. There's a music, uh, somebody who is reading there, he's singing music. <laughs> so, so all, I mean, that's, that, 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 that's, that, that's what I feel too. Why should why do this Nigeria be like this today? All the money has been wasted. I can say maybe five, six percent of the money is one that we've done that. Look at the countries we are still we are still back where we are still primitive. No light, no water, no security. Nothing is happening here. You know, because a few people have all the money. Some of them are foreigners who are taking their money outside the nation. It is sad. I know a guy who was on. Maybe a rap man, he's a Monaco, Matkalo. He doesn't work, he just put, he has so much money. He doesn't enjoy himself in Nigerian money. So, he, he, there's a lot that's been done, which is very sad for a great nation. <laughs> I try my best to do our defense because it's country. We don't have to say it's country. You know, when I was doing it, I only came, I came up for US, I, 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 although I'm a banker, I, you know, I work for I, I'm a Savannah Bank from Bank of America in America. That was trained, but I left that because of Nigeria. I came to do something with the defense. If I tell people like IBB, they will tell you about what I've done. I try my best. I do this to even train them nations. So I can train better. I did the air defense system. I went to the Navy to do some marines. I force, I force, I force everything. I, I did, I put in all the, all the, all, all the things that NATO, we are going to have a great nation. But of course, our people are not. It does just a coup or something at all. So a lot of them were just wasted. But I didn't mind. It's something I, I love to do my for our nation. So I, I'm a last man in defense. You can't you can call IB today. You understand? You call like that. Like, like, um, uh, and why we tell you? At what he can say, you call him Call Yako. You know? Call him. So I call him. Uh, 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 police call him. They don't know me. So I spent my time, 10 years of my life working for Nigeria to have become strong. Because if you're talking about being a leader, you can't be talking to a leader for a position of, 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 of weakness. You have to be strong. If you're not strong, you can talk about that. That's why today, see what happened. There, there, there are terrorists everywhere. Also, terrorism is It's all about the injustice being done to the people. We have to, we have to, we have, it's a pity that people are being killed every day. It's so sad. If you see people killed everywhere, what is going on here? It's because we don't have a strong, um, we don't, you know, people are, are, are so corrupt. All the money I'm taking away from Nigeria. But it's never too late. Your Almighty God made us. It's, it believe that it can, it can still be done. If only we love Nigeria. Because you see, a lot of people are watching us from abroad. They say, what are you these black people do? Two hundred million black people. But we're busy competing against you. Like, ah, I have my money that you are. There. That's what they're doing. Everybody's showing off. Bye bye. The country is going down. 
So people like me, people like my good friend, like, like, like fella, like, like, like fella, my good friend, you know. So now they ask them to tell them about, about, about me too. So I told you, but with people, can find me who care for Nigeria. My late father, my uncle, all you are, so we go care. But it's so sad that this, that this today, what can we do? So we, we, we must, we must change our ways. All this carrying money out of Nigeria is, is, is not worth it at all. We must, Nigeria come first first. If you fail, God will say, well, I've done my own for you. Say, I'll give me everything. What have you done with it? You will send the money. White man, they don't have what we have. They were cavemen before. It's not that like they, 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 they were suffering before. They were cavemen, but the caves, they were cannibals. These white people. We are the first to be civilized in this planet, black people. I went to Cairo to see those primates. I saw it myself. King Tot was the greatest thing there, a young boy. I was a black man, very blacker than me. So what can, what can we do with it again? We can do it again if you want. But if you don't want, continue like this. End of the day, continue to collapse. It's already almost collapsed now. When there's no security, no light, no water, no job for you, you can you and, 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 and stars. You, you know, white people say, they plan. America, they plan. Uh, or this Europe, they plan for the, for the youth in the future. You have to plan for the youth. You can't just do anything without planning for them. They came out now and they don't have anything to do. They have to talk about they have gone evil. I don't know all this killing and all kinds of stuff all over the place. These guys are, they are they, uh, it's so sad. They are so, so beautiful looking. Younger, both men and women, they are looking, they are totally intelligent. I saw them, I watched them, I, 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 I wept for Nigeria. How can this be? When you, you have the country like this and nothing for you, we must start to do, do, do it again. In those systems, people must create jobs on people. Because this money, how long does the person be have on earth to live? You can't like, if you live on earth, you die. And then you go to have your money wasted. Why buy your people cannot feed? And God Himself can be angry with us. Just imagine if God's okay, earthquake, all of us go to earthquake. So, what I'm saying is that, you know, uh, instead of going forward, we are, we are moving backwards. But it's never too late. We have to take it uh, all by the bull now. Nigeria's money realize that it's time has come. We cannot continue to, to be like this. We have to move forward. forward you know, people like Fellow died. They say run around. You know, people they are concerned about Nigeria. Great with so many people who love Nigeria. You know, and I, I probably I'm probably one of them are still alive to to speak. You know, on behalf of my, my people who love Nigeria. I've been, I've been loving Nigeria. I've traveled all over Nigeria on the road. Everywhere. I can tell you from here to Bini, to Agbo, to, to, to Asaba, across the bay, across the, the Niger, to Enewi, Enewoka, Enewoka, I can go the way to Enewoka, go to Enewoka. You have been there, I've been there, I've been you, you come to my country, you come to be here, just, you have been there, Kaduna, Kavata, Kastina. On the road though, I just love to travel to Nigeria. Everywhere I go, I sit down there, I do family with them. I go to the family, I go, I go chop with them. I look at my corner, see, I just come. Because when I left, when I finished in California, I said, I went to California, it was the most beautiful place in America. Nigeria said, it's that beautiful. If you can do it right, you can do it, it's that beautiful. Yeah. I went to Ajakuta, I look at your beautiful places, but we're busy, you know, everybody will do whatever they like. Nobody cares, I have my money. They carry, the, the government carry my 14 cars. What are they doing without all those cars? You can't even have a gun that pass in America, everybody goes down with. Everybody like, yeah, boo, boo. But, I mean, this is sad. We are good, everything is wrong in this nation, but it's not, it can't be corrected. If you if think now, we cannot just put anybody there because they are, they are, they are, they are worth it. They are, we have made so much money. It's not about money now, it's about making Nigeria better. If you fail this time around, God himself will be angry with us. And we don't pray God's anger. If he does, then we are in trouble.